Okay, so the first step on setting your end points is that what you're going to want to do is make sure that your steering and throttle trims are zeroed out as well as your uh, sub trims and so some radios have that deeper in the menu so as you can see you want to make sure everything is zeroed out uh, once that's done you will go and turn on your receiver battery and what this will do is this will power up the servos and get them centered you can cycle the servos a couple of times make sure that they're moving appropriately After that, you'll turn, you'll put the servos on. You'll center the servo horns the best you can, and then install them on. Just just press fit them on. It's okay that they're not completely lined up and making everything uh, centered. You'll you'll be able to adjust that later with the trims. So from here, what you'll do is you'll turn your radio off, and then you will tighten the screws. First, tighten the clamping screws and then the screws that hold it onto the output shaft. Use a little bit of blue thread lock to keep them from coming out. After this, we're gonna adjust the trim so that way you can make sure that the, uh, that the tires are pointed straight, that your throttle brake is set at neutral. And so uh, just, just push your trim tab until the, until the tires look like they're pointing mostly straight. You can make small adjustments later. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna be setting the endpoint adjustments. This is critical on digital servos. So go to uh, the, the endpoint adjustment or some radios call it the travel. So you can see there's steering left and right. You can increase or decrease this. And this is the most important part of uh, installing digital servos is making sure the endpoints are done right. So if you look here, this is the servo is fighting itself and you can hear it straining. That's because the servo is trying to throw further than the physical limitations of the, of the chassis or of like the steering and the same thing happens with throttle. So as you decrease that amount, it will and, and make it to the right size. So if you look here, you can see there's an actual stop on the steering rack. So you can see how these aren't touching but they're very close. That's how far that you want to set it. If you have it set where it's trying to throw it too far, you will burn your servos up. So now we're going to go and do the throttle. So you go to the endpoint adjustments on your throttle brake. And as you look, what you're, what you're looking for is you want to see the spring collapse all the way. And so that you know that the brake's being pulled on. And you don't want it to go too far because you strain your servo and you can burn them out. So what you should see is the brakes be fully engaged and you can hear the servo stop making that high-pitched whine. If you hear a high-pitched whine at full uh, extension, then it's set too tight. So if you look at the two springs, you've got the, the spring on your throttle linkage and the spring on the brake linkage. They both collapse at the same amount. Uh, if you need to adjust the collar on that rod, do so. Now we're going to set the point on the high throttle. So on the butterfly, you want to see there's a little stop. You want to just have that half moon shape. Uh, just bump onto the stop, and that's it. You're all set. You want to make sure that it's just set just enough, but not pulling harder than it needs to. So that's everything, and uh, if you have any questions, make sure to make a comment below. Um, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.